Our video last week highlighted a major Bloomberg article which outlined a $111 million funding round by some of the largest names in crypto funding. We expected that news to drive the price of H&T higher to new all-time highs and to really start drawing more investors towards Helium and HNT. HNT went on to clear new all-time highs as we were expecting, and as it turns out, some major angel investors and venture capitalists are starting to take notice of the utility and success that Helium is having and the potential the project and the company has. Last week on August 17th, an extremely popular and well-known podcast called This Week in Startups, hosted by Jason Kalkanis, spoke very highly of Helium. HNT, and the potential success they see in the network. This is major news for Helium, as it proves more and more very powerful and influential people are coming across Helium as the network grows across the world. Let's break down what Jason had to say and what impact this could have on Helium moving forward. We will also touch on some updates on my recently delivered Rack Miner. <music> Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another video here in the Crypto Compound channel. Very exciting few days and weekend here for crypto and HNT, especially. As mentioned in the previous video, I was suspecting that the recent news and overall bullishness regarding the crypto markets would drive HNT to new all time highs and escape this previous range that we were stuck in here. And it looks like we have. This was a major resistance to blow through. We cleared it. We stayed around in this range for a little, which we have been stuck in for many, many weeks before. And then we continued to rally and rally higher to new all-time highs above $26. Now, of course, there is a pullback here in the past about 12 hours. That is obviously extremely normal and very short-term. I would expect us to find a new home here in the high 20s. Um, somewhere between this $24 and $30, I would expect a new range to form there. Of course, if there is a major sell-off in broader cryptos, that will put a lot of downward pressure on the HNT price, and we'll have to see if it's able to hold its place there and technically outperform the rest of the market, but time will tell. It's just really, really great to see that HNT was able to clear these all-time highs and outperform a lot of its peers. As we can see here, HNT has made it to the lower 60s we were in the 67 to 70 coin by market cap rank for a long time we have moved up to the 61 rank we were at some points when we were near all-time highs we were in the high 50s which was really amazing to see but every every rank here counts and it's great to see us now holding steady in the low 60s i would expect us to continue this outperformance as i'll talk about in the video there is more and more chatter going on amongst very powerful and influential people uh, in the investing community in the angel investing and venture capital community and helium is coming onto their radar and they are talking about it as we will see in this video there was a podcast last week on jason calcanis's podcast which is a very well known very reputable podcast and he is a very successful and very reputable individual himself we will go a little into his background and then we'll talk about what he specifically said about helium and HNT. But first, I do want to give you guys a quick update on my own miner that was delivered last weekend. I was able to get it set up extremely, extremely easy. It was a Rack V2 miner. I got it set up, got it plugged in, went through the app protocol, which I'll put some of those, I'll put some of those images on the screen. I got it set up and it was mining for about two days. And then we had a little bit of a storm where I live and it uh, disconnected, my, my Wi-Fi went out, so the Helium actually disconnected and became relayed for a good amount of time. Um, thankfully, I, it was a super, super easy fix, and I will outline that and go through that in a separate video because I think it will help a lot of people out. I really think that what I, uh, what I went through would, will help a lot of people out. Obviously, I've been going through this Explorer and just taking a look, and I do find a lot of these hotspots are being relayed which for me i don't understand why there are there are two main fixes one of which was mine which was the easiest thing in the world i will document what happened and why it happened 
and uh, I'll show you this very simple way of fixing it. But I have noticed there are so many of these miners that are online that are just being relayed and uh, that does impact the earnings of these miners. So I think it will help a lot of you guys out. Stay tuned for that video. I will hopefully have that up this week. All right, so let's get into the video. So Jason Kalkanis' podcast, very popular uh, angel investor, tech entrepreneur, his own podcast. He made an episode last week which discussed Helium and H&T, amongst other things on his normal podcast. But first, let's talk a little bit about Jason Kalkanis. As you can see here, I'm sure you guys are familiar with the Pomp podcast. Anthony Pompliano is a very prominent figure in the crypto community. He had him on. The title of this podcast that the Pomp had was Jason Kalkanis, the world's most successful angel investor, question mark. As you can see, he's clearly known for his investing for his past, for his his deals that he's made in Silicon Valley, the companies he's invested in. Extremely, extremely successful. As you can see, I mean, I hate to reference Wikipedia here, but it is a very good accumulation of a lot of what he has done. As you can see here, some big names like Robinhood, Wealthfront, Uber, Desktop Metal, Data Stacks, Thumbtack, Superhuman, and Trello. Then he went on to raise a $10 million fund of his own venture investment firm. So he's a hugely, hugely powerful and well-known person in the investing space. He has a lot of very, very powerful and influ influential friends and networks and his network specifically. He knows all the ins and outs of venture capital and angel investing. Bottom line is he's a very powerful and influential person. And this podcast is listened to by a lot of his network, a lot of people looking to find new things to invest in which are perfect for people, which is a perfect market for people looking uh, and discovering Helium. So let's get into a little bit about what he said specifically uh, on his podcast. So I put together a list here. Uh, I went through, I listened, there's about a, I believe it's it has to be around nine to 10 minutes of him talking about Helium and h and I went and did a little Spark Notes for you guys so that you can get an idea of what he said. You, of course, can go listen to it um, if you want. I would recommend it. It is very interesting. I would also recommend listening to his podcast in general. It is an extremely educational podcast. You learn a lot. You hear a lot about how these people think, how they find companies to invest in, and you will also hear about things like Helium. For example, if you didn't know about Helium and you were listening to this podcast, this would be, have been an introduction to Helium, which is invaluable in my opinion. A good friend of mine who actually introduced me to Helium is the one who has introduced me to this podcast as well. So I am very thankful for that and for this podcast. Now, if we look at Jason Kalkanis on Helium, uh, if you go through this is sort of in chronological order of what he was talking about. It's, uh, I'll, I'll just go bullet to bullet. First, he mentioned specifically the news that I mentioned last week in one of my videos about the $111 million funding round led by A16Z, which was a Bloomberg article. I mentioned in last week's video how that being a Bloomberg article and being such a large funding round was going to vibrate through Wall Street and through the uh, venture capital and annual investing space. And apparently, now, based on this podcast, it's clear that that is the case. Now, next, he mentions that Helium is backed by a real venture capital firm. This, of course, is contrary to many other crypto projects. He also explains in plain English how h and minings and the incentives for the users and the miners works. He puts an emphasis on the incentives for miners to provide coverage, which is a huge key, is one of the keys to how Helium works functions as a company and as a uh, and as a network. He is also in this podcast focusing on the 5G capability that Freedom5 is launching on the Helium network, hopefully by the end of this year. He emphasizes how people are 100% willing to pay for internet coverage, which is hugely important because that really establishes HNT and Helium as a utility that is needed and that people are willing to pay for. He explains further how HNT price has uh, has 16 x since January. As of the time of, of the recording of his podcast, it's probably closer to 20x as of today, uh, the recording of this video. 
Uh, here's two quotes here from him in the podcast. He says, I think I'm going to buy $1,000 worth of HNT. If it is on Robinhood, he loves Robinhood because he was one of the first investors in Robinhood. So that is part of the reason why he is uh, mentioning Robinhood here specifically. And he also says it is one of the, and I quote, one of the few crypto ideas that actually has an application. That is another huge, huge, huge and important differentiation between Helium and and a lot of the other top 100 crypto coins by market cap, uh, Helium actually works. It has a function, it has a utility, and it has a network that is really built and it is across the world already, close to, I believe, 140,000 hotspots across the world already. He does mention that this is one of the few use cases of crypto that he, in fact, believes in, which is extraordinary to hear from a guy like him. Uh, he highlights the transparency of the network, the breakdown of the token distribution, and explains how this differentiates it from other projects. Now, a lot of other crypto projects will not explain any of the transparency of how the how the the incentives work for any of the founders or investors or how they will be paid. However, Helium and HNT has a very clear breakdown of this on their website, which I will show you right now. As you can see very clearly here on the Helium website is the HNT distribution of the year one breakdown. Of course, this is in the past, but uh, it is updated and they do explain uh, and give you a very clear graph here. The first year, 30% to network data transfers, 35% to hotspot infrastructure, 35% to Helium Inc. and its investors. Very, very clear, 100% transparency on the breakdown of HNT. And here you will see over the 50-year course that is outlined how the breakdown, how the breakdown evolves throughout time. This is 100% transparency from day one from Helium, not seen almost anywhere else in the crypto space. Very, very unique and very positive for Helium and HNT. He also focuses on the utility and the investment case for Helium. He says that a lot of coins or even just investments in general are one or the other. He explains how he thinks Helium is actually a utility and an investment at the same time, which is fantastic to hear from a guy like Jason. Now he also says, uh, lastly here, he says Helium is somewhere between a good idea and a very, this is almost a quote from the podcast. He says, Helium is somewhere between a good idea and a very good idea. And that would have that he would have invested in this in a very early stage or an earlier stage. Also very reassuring, very positive, very, very positive to hear. Of course, people like Jason Kalkanis uh, look for things that they invest in really in the first stage or the second stage. Helium is a little bit more evolved for him at this point, being however many years old it is and how uh, extensive the network is at this point. He's really looking to get onto things on the ground, ground, ground level. But of course, for the ordinary investor, this is still extraordinarily early to be getting involved in a crypto like this and a crypto project that has such promise and has shown such, such success throughout its time already. So guys, let me know what you think about this. Let me know what your thoughts are. I mean, this is huge. I think this might even be better news than the news last week from Bloomberg about the $111 million funding round. This proves that it is really vibrating through the investing community, and this is going to really shine a light on Helium, and I believe it will drive its outperformance over the next months and years. Let me know what you guys think. I will make sure to provide updates on my rack miner and the mining in the in the coming days and weeks as time goes on. I'm also ordering a upgraded antenna and we'll do a side by side comparison of the first 30 days with the original antenna and the first 30 days with the new antenna and show the uh, in what I would expect to be the improvement in the earnings power. So stay tuned for that. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. It really helps out the channel. But just like that, this video is over, and I will see you next time.